morning and welcome to day five. A lot of people have been asking me why are you doing this Tom? So today I will explain why I started vlogging. But first, let me buy that cat. What's a that cat? That cat is a piece of cloth that stops wind noise from entering the microphone. So I'm hoping this that cat or fake fur with double-sided tape on top of this vlogging camera will prevent all the the wind noises. I'm not sure. Let's see. What do you think of the vlogging camera with the moustache? Chloe says it looks a bit like Bert. Yeah, looks good. Okay, let's get real. I started vlogging not because I wanted to show how awesome, fantastic, incredible my, my life is. I started vlogging because I wanted to show what happens once you graduate. Graduation is the topic everybody talks about. It's a big thing. And there are a lot of expectations after graduation. A lot of people had expectations for me. But to be honest, I still don't know what I want to do. That's the main thing I want to show with life after graduation. What happens after graduation? What do you need to do? What is expected? What kind of actions do you take to start a job, start a career, start something that you want to do after graduation? And for me, there are a lot of options. Let me explain. I started industrial design and engineering roughly seven years ago. It's a great thing to do, design. I love it. I would do it every day. But before I started studying, I also thought about becoming a photographer. A photographer to capture anything. Uh, still don't have a specific style i just love walking around with my camera and taking pictures and short movies and etc i opted for industrial design because i thought there's a bigger opportunity for a job and photography is maybe something i could learn myself maybe it proved over time that i was able to learn it myself uh, I still have a lot to learn, don't get me wrong, but I still love photography. So one of the questions I'm asking myself right now is what do I want to do? Design or photography? Life after graduation is not about finding the perfect job, finding the perfect thing. It's also unenrolling from university, which I did today officially. Request for termination of enrollment. That's what I did from today or actually the 1st of July because that's the official date but from that date I'm not a student anymore it's a weird sensation, it's a weird feeling but it is how it is it's life after graduation I just have to accept that I need to pay 320 euros extra this year but for all of you who are gonna plan to graduate in June, July, August make sure to know that you need to pay all the months of this year because apparently that's how they arrange it I don't know why or next year make sure to graduate before June I just cancelled my studies uh, funding as well or it's actually a loan but I cancelled that loan as well because I'm hoping to start earning money I'm officially not a student anymore my hypothesis is that within three months I will have a job. What kind of job? I'm not sure about yet. Therefore the name life after graduation chapter. Maybe within three months it's gonna be my first job or startup for my graduation project or my life as a photographer. Let's see. Exciting times are coming. I can only make the best out of my life. That's what I'm gonna do. I hope to let other people learn from maybe my mistakes or 
maybe things I go through to prevent other people to go through the same thing as well or make people enthusiastic about life after graduation. I'm not sure where I'm gonna end up so I don't know whether this is gonna be a super fantastic time or whether this is gonna be a tough week, month, two months, I don't know. That's something time will only tell. One thing will be sure and that's it that I'm gonna vlog most of it I'm gonna try to do everything if you have any questions any remarks please let me know I'm always up for feedback right that's it for today thanks for watching love life make the best out of it I'm out peace <laughs>